so recently I was inspired to do a new financial challenge. I follow all these amazing people from the debt free community on Instagram and I noticed there's a really popular trend at the moment and that is a zero spend challenge. So at the moment I'm actually saving for something really special and I'm a little bit behind on round three of the thousand dollar project. So I thought this was the perfect opportunity to do this challenge for myself. But whilst this is very similar to my annual Frugal February challenge, it's a little bit different. I set the challenge for 10 days only. And also I approach the challenge with a totally different mindset. Normally with Frugal February, I look at it at a place from scarcity and depriving myself. But this time I looked at it from a place of financial peace and harmony and having a bit of a holiday away from spending all the time. So I was actually really excited about doing this challenge. And I actually made you guys a vlog whilst doing this challenge. So you can watch me go through the ups and downs and discover and learn new things with me. But before I publish this vlog, which I will be doing so next week, I wanted to share with you the key things that I learned and experienced from doing this challenge and also give you some advice if you want to do this for yourself. All right, what did I learn? Well, I learned that my desires really deepened and they went to a place of self-love and nurturing. Instead of feeling the desire to maybe buy a new item of clothing or some makeup, I actually just found the desire to buy fresh flowers and vitamins and high quality food. And that felt so much wiser and more respectful of my spending and who and my values as to what I stand for. I also experienced the awareness and the need to actually invest in higher quality food. The desire to buy a sweet muffin shifted to the desire to buy a really healthy fresh salad that would give me the right amount of energy to get through my day. I also learned the hard way that it is really important to plan and prepare this challenge. Things like packing lunch the night before, um, communicating to people that you are doing the zero spend challenge and also being prepared for their questions and their possible judgment as to why you are doing this challenge. Also, I don't recommend doing this challenge ad hoc. You need to look at your diary and work out what is the best time for you to do this. You do not want to try and do a zero spend challenge when you've got a lot of things happening at work or you've got a lot of social events. It's going to set you up for failure. So look in your diary as to when there's a week or a 10 day period where you don't have much on and you can really make the most of this challenge and embrace it. Now, one of the beautiful things that I realized and experienced from doing this challenge is the awareness and appreciation for the environment. Whilst this was a zero spend challenge, the theme or the, I guess, awareness of the environment really kicked in and this ended up being a really nice um, element of zero waste. And I'm really now proud of this awareness and new habits that I have that really incorporate the environment along with zero spend. Another great thing that came out from doing this challenge was it broke my financial block. I'd hit a bit of a plateau with the thousand dollar project. I had all this money that was outstanding to me that was, I was sick of waiting for it to come in and I was kind of in a bit of a lull or a bit of a flat of place of where I would get new ideas and um, inspiration for hustling and earning some extra income or some extra cash or finding new savings. And this completely broke that block. I'm now refreshed and rejuvenated to smash through my next couple of thousand dollar parcels for the thousand dollar project and get back on track. And then the final thing that I experienced and learned from doing this zero spend challenge was I experienced guilt. I felt really bad and embarrassed for not supporting my local cafes and dry cleaners, places where I would normally go in and spend money. I felt that I was having a negative impact on their own flow of money and abundance and I didn't like that and I actually ended up breaking it. So would I recommend this challenge for you? Absolutely. I would say the people who would really benefit from this are people who have a high spending habit. They like to constantly buy things and they don't shop mindfully. It is a fantastic challenge to do where you realize that desire to spend unnecessarily comes up all the time. And if you can just take that moment to step back, let that feeling pass whilst also acknowledging it, there is so much personal growth that comes from doing this challenge. Also, you've got to be open to a form of financial meditation that comes from this. The stillness, the calmness, the tranquility from not spending is incredibly powerful and incredibly enlightening. So I really hope this video inspires you to do this zero spend challenge for yourself. If you haven't subscribed to my channel, make sure you do. And also make sure you switch on that notification button so you can see exactly when next week when I publish my zero spend challenge vlog.